Hey, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and get getting on all right with with lockdown and, and just generally the current situation and how life is at the moment. I have no doubt I'm going to milk the, the title and thumbnail of this video and wherever I post it, so uh, I'm sure you're all kind of here for the uh, the experience of watching me cut my hair. I imagine it's going to be somewhat like a car crash where you don't really want to see it but you can't look away. Um, <laughs> That said, before we get to that, I do just want to talk about something really, really quickly that's very important to me, and so please, I, I appreciate there is a temptation to skip ahead, but please do uh, watch this bit first, because it's, it's really fucking important at the end of the day. So, I've signed up to do a 10k run of charity. It's scheduled for the first weekend of July. Whether it happens the first weekend of July, we will have to wait and see how things go in the the world really and, and in the UK and how, how things get on we can't really uh, say but for now it hasn't been postponed it is still planned for the first weekend of July which means that I really need to start acting like it and start training for it. Anyone close to me will, will, will know it's uh, it's gonna be a challenge. Um, I did sign up for the gym back in February with this in mind but uh, well We've seen how that's gone, so... <laughs> the charity in question is Calm, so Campaign Against Living Miserably, and I'll be running with a group of colleagues from ADP. Calm do a lot of good work in terms of um, being available for people to talk to, doing a lot of fundraising and campaigning, and, and really trying to um, to reduce the, the amount of um, suicides that, that happen. Uh, to try and help people out when they're, when they're going through some really, really difficult times. Um, Myself and my colleagues will be running in memory of one of our colleagues who unfortunately took his own life um, a couple of years back. Um, so it's something that's that's really close to our hearts and really important for us. Aside from the sort of personal challenge and and self development side of things, we also want to raise uh, a lot of money for for a really great charity. I know at the moment it's. Um, it's not the ideal time to be trying to fundraise, it's, you know, a very scary time and a very uncertain time and there's certainly a lot of people who uh, are having issues, either they may just have come out of work, may not be able to work right now and so uh, have less money, even if you can just share the just giving link that will be in the description of this video and post it on like my Facebook, Twitter, whatever, um, you know, that would be great if you are able to donate at all. Um, that would also be great. It's as simple as, you know, the, the money that is donated will go towards saving people's lives. Um, so, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> it's a real challenge, but it's something that I, I wanted to be a part of last year and I didn't think I could do it, so I didn't sign up and I regretted it. So, yeah. Um, Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to segue now from that into, let's cut my hair off. In terms of cutting my hair off, it's not really a kind of, uh, it wasn't a planned, like, if you donate this amount, I'm going to shave my hair. It's just, I'm in lockdown and I'm bored because I'm on my own, and I've seen a few people doing it, and it's funny, and at the end of the day, it's not something I'm going to do outside of lockdown, so, why not, really? <laughs> It's a terrible way to make decisions, isn't it? My uh, shaver is not one that I would use on my head. Um, so I was looking at like hair clippers and stuff. Amazon were pretty much sold out. Argos wouldn't deliver. So I had to go to Debenhams and order this beard trimmer on express delivery. Uh, because that's the kind of life decisions I'm making at 21. So I guess we're just going to... Um, I guess we're just going to give it a go. And I'm going to take off my glasses, uh, which is... I don't know if that's a good idea or not, because I'm probably going to fuck it up, but... Oh, that's a, that's a big bit. I can't even, I should have really started the other side so you can actually see it.
I'm gonna like go to this side a little bit because you can barely see on the other side. I don't know, I, mean, I just kind of chunk this out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna become a hairdresser after this. Okay. There we go, now we're getting proper jumps out. Look how much hair, oh my god. Look at this. I'm just gonna kinda... Oh wow, that's like a proper chunk gone. And I want to fucking look in the mirror quickly. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna fucking regret this, I tell you. Oh god. Alright. Let's keep going then. <laughs> oh man, I'm fucking butchering this, Jesus Christ. It's quite hard to do yourself, okay, like... I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to turn off the camera for a second while I just carry on with this, uh, so I can just focus on looking in the mirror, and then I'll come back in a minute. Two hours later. Hello, friends. Um, <laughs> so, this has been a, a journey of discovery. I've got to admit, right, it started off quite cathartic and therapeutic almost, like uh, once I switched the camera off and I went, I just went in front of my mirror and I had like a little uh, Tesco bag where I caught most of the hair um, and I was just like Zzz, and then just watching it drop and looking up and just seeing like rows of my hair just gone. Um, it was quite a freeing experience. I would like, I'm ge I'm not taking the piss here or, or being sarcastic. I would genuinely recommend people do it like just once. Like what have you got to lose? It's lockdown anyway. So, you know, uh, a lot of us are stuck indoors, not able to go out. Like I probably wouldn't do this if I started to go to work, but I'm working from home. So, you know, the only times I have to go out are like shopping and if I choose to where I can wear a hat, so it's, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I would genuinely recommend it. It's quite a, it's, it's quite a, a thrill, I think. Um, it then, once I'd done like most of the top and a bit of the sides, it then became, fuck, how am I gonna do this and make sure it's even? Cause it's not even hair clippers. They are beard trimmers and very thin, uh, well, very, yeah, thin. Um, I got it mostly even, I think. I've had a quick shower. Um, I then noticed a bit that I'd missed and went, oh, I'll quickly buzz it, and then realized that it was taking off way too much and I hadn't put the, the, the guide back on. So I think there's like a line on the back of my head that's a little bit dodgy. It's like to skin. Um, but having taken a photo of the back of my head, it doesn't look horrendous, and again, it's gonna grow back to length within like a week or two so I can just wear a hat in the meantime when I go out but um yeah you're ready for the the big reveal <laughs> Ta -da! yeah I'm a fucking egg <laughs> I am um, I'm an egg I'm I'm the moon emoji um I, I blend in with the fucking wall as well. So yeah, this is this is how I look now. Uh, you can see my terrible hairline uh, from years of bleaching it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, please do, of course, remember um, in the description of this video will be the Just Giving link for Team ADP for the A610K. Um, 
that's all for this time. Um, I hope everyone is keeping well in, in lockdown uh, and, you know, is um, staying safe, um, happy, communicating with their friends and family, has plenty of toilet roll. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be back to some sense of normal very soon. Um, but in the meantime, I am an egg. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the end of the video. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Um, and I will see you uh, again soon. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to end this. I just I keep my eyes keep drifting across to the little um, screen next to the the camera, where I can see my own mistake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take care. Peace. I forgot to put my glasses on. Oh, I haven't actually seen it with my glasses on yet. Fucking hell. I uh, genuinely have not put them back on yet, so we'll get to uh, we'll get to witness this together. I'm just cleaning them because they're so fucking dirty all the time. As, uh, do you know what? I genuinely I I like having glasses. I prefer having glasses to my face without glasses. But fucking hell, they get dirty all the time. I'm probably going to cut all this out, but um, maybe I'll leave it as an outtake. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. There we go. Ah, fucking D. Right. <laughs>